What's going on guys, Octavian here, uh, getting ready to do the Hades Cup. Um, now I did go ahead and buy VIP and I am, currently I don't have that good of a strength buffer. Um, you know, so I'm going to try and get myself, hopefully, extra attack on this guy because that will help me dramatically in every single one of my setups if i can get a metal that in one turn can raise my strength the max um th that's what i need i don't have a 0.2 Kyrie. i since i started up you know less than a month ago they haven't had a banner for her and i haven't managed to pull her and so really hoping that hopefully we get a banner for her soon or we get maybe Kyrie ex uh which is going to be the next best thing um so for now what i'm going to do is just try and get extra attack on this guy uh, to hold me off. I didn't get extra attack on TR-11 or Pride Land Sora. My luck for getting extra attack on buffers is is really bad. So we'll see how this one goes. Raid damage, no good. And then as soon as I finish this up, we're going to go ahead and start the Hades Cup. All right, I'll take that. I'm really praying that I get this. It would help me so much. Give me a whole extra metal slot to work with. Uh, I mean, those are decent traits, but I'm, I'm really looking for extra attack here. Not looking like I'm gonna get it. Two more tries. God. Arrgh! So frustrating. It's. I swear it's gotta have a way smaller percentage than the other ones. Because I never ever get it. Uh, let's see how the guilt rolls out. I'm not even sure what tier this is. 145. If that's a tier 5, that's an awesome guilt, which I think it probably is a tier 5. <laughs> Please. Ah, oh, God. I, I guess that's what, what we got. So, better than nothing, I suppose. Um... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and update my Keyblade really quick. Uh, right now I've been rocking out Fairy Stars for the most part. So we'll just go ahead and swap you with my new Illustrated Beast. And that'll give me max strength and a wipe. And uh, gauge-wise I should be good too uh, with this setup. So... All my stuff is very low gauge. So. And the reason I'm not using this guy for my main damage dealer is I've really found that without him only having one enemy left, he really does not do near as much damage as my, my Sora and Riku does. So um, that's based off HP. So I pretty much always have max multiplier. So I'm going to go with that. Um. We'll run this setup for a little bit. I'm probably going to have to swap to a different Keyblade here. Um, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. I haven't I haven't done this at all. I don't really know what to expect. So I'm just going to get started and uh, see how it goes. If we have to make any adjustments, we'll, we'll do what we need to do. I'm probably just going to run, you know, while they're a bit easier, um, just kind of run them straight through. And then once we start getting into harder stuff, we'll look at switching it up. All right, so for this one, um, if it's just the one enemy, um, I think I'm going to run this setup and use a friend, Ava. Yeah, just the one enemy.
I might get shut down soon. I might need second chance. Yeah, I'm going to need second chance. Um, I'm going to switch my setup a little bit. Uh, what was my other really good setup I had going? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we'll just run that. And actually, it's probably better not to do... Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right, so shut down early on that first one. I um, I don't have a lot of good medals to put second chance on yet. Pretty much just my Kyrie. So I uh, my setups are still a little not as not as optimized as I'd like them to be. If I would have rolled double cast on that guy, uh, God, it would have made my setup so much easier. <clears throat> but the fact that I have to resort to using two medals to get to the max strength, it really hurts me. It hurts me a lot. And, um, this is definitely my worst, um, setup is using magic. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of very good magic medals. So, I have to resort to copying friends Ava's. Yeah, this should work without a problem. And I get defense buffs, so, if I don't kill it. Yeah, and I should survive this hit. Yeah. First one down. For being the first one, that wasn't the easiest thing in the world. So they said this was going to be the hardest Hades Cup to date. So this could be really challenging. I mean, I'm thinking I'm powerful enough. Even though I've only been playing for a month, I'm pretty sure I'm powerful enough to beat it all. Um, I got really lucky with those EX pulls. So I should be good. I like this setup here a lot with the... Um, rocking out the stroke of midnight it'll be a lot better once i get um all right it'll be a lot better once i get better keyblades once i finish out proud mode all right so for this i think i'm just gonna rock my typical I'm just gonna rock this and then follow it up with like a Sephiroth EX. Not having a 0.2 Kyrie makes all of this incredibly difficult. But these two guys right here help a lot. And they don't, this guy doesn't affect any counters. So yeah, just wipe them all with that. And that wasn't even with weakness. So yeah, this setup's pretty, pretty great. Gets me the max, max buffs for everything for, not quite for Coliseum because I'm not getting the full general defense down, but I'm getting pretty close. I'm getting four general defense down and then max everything else. Alright, I should obliterate this guy. Get some magic brooms. Oh, 
right. Ooh, that's not good. For being the VIP medal, that one's pretty good. That was awful. I just skipped all my damage dealers. Whatever. I should be able to kill one of them, two of them. Oh, okay. Guess I killed them all. I didn't even get to apply half of my buffs. So, I guess it worked out. I didn't have any power defense down. <laughs> or no, the the metal does four power or um speed defense down. So yeah, I guess I got a decent amount of buffs off of it. All right, we're gonna go back to our stroke of midnight. <laughs> Wow, that did a lot of damage. I'm gonna get poisoned here, but that's not a big deal. Because I should wipe these guys in one turn. Or, actually, I killed the poison guy. Alright, we're good. My KR-11 has ground damage. Uh, minus 60, so if it's a ground enemy, he can actually do some serious damage. Especially because I pre-buff him. Um, he can actually do some good damage. Alright, so, so far so good. First one was a lot more challenging than these last few have been. I guess it's more that I just started with a really bad setup. I don't know what I was thinking there. Alright, so for this guy, um, we're going to go ahead and usually um, I, I really don't have an amazing power setup either. So honestly, I, I usually just go with my really good speed setup on speed guys and then throw in a Sephiroth at the end because even though it's speed against speed, I'm still doing insane amounts of damage because my setup is so good. I'm getting max buffs and debuffs and uh, it works out very good. And also this guy gives uh, wipes any buffs that the enemy has. And it gives me a pretty good defense boost. So if I do need to tank some hits, um, it, it can usually help me survive. Alright, let's see how we do. Oh yeah, that was solid. I don't think this will kill it, but I'll definitely kill it in turn two. Yep, and I'll be able to get both my attacks before he triggers, because this one's not going to affect the counter. This will probably kill him anyways. Yeah. Oh man, just a tiny bit left. Alright, there we go. Rehydrate. <laughs> All right, got that speed gem. Love these Hades cups. I hope we get start getting these more regularly. Six thousand jewels is just an awesome reward, and Mickey and brooms. Plus, we just got seven with the VIP, and we're getting two for this, so that almost gives us enough for you know two full more Mickey and brooms. So, just from the other rewards, we'll get some more brooms this week. All right, let's see if the cat lady has her little friend with her. The little pets. 
that paralyze you and heal her. Oh no, she's got these guys. So these guys aren't a problem because I have a, a wiper. So this is going to buff them. And then I'm instantly going to wipe the buffs. Um, TR, TR12 is actually really good. I like it a lot. Boom. <clears throat> yeah, I should wipe the... Well, I'll wipe the, the little dude's first turn. And then I'll probably take her out in second turn. Now, she usually has the ability... Oh, dang. Oh, man. I'm going to get poisoned. All right. So, this might not work out. Um, I guess I don't really have a choice but to hit her. Um, but the thing is that... I'm probably going to die from poison right here. We'll see. If I get lucky, I'm paralyzed. I could just take her out. Ah, fuck. Okay, sweet. I had enough defense boost because those boosts, this metal also lasts for two turns. So all those defense boosts double. And it's it's incredible. It's, I think a lot of people didn't realize how good of a metal that metal actually is. Especially for stuff like this. Alright, there we go. Another one down. Yeah, I'm curious to see, oh, um, I don't know if, I didn't say this in my first translation video, but when it talks about the Hades Cup, it actually says, um, see who finally arrives or something like that. So I think the final boss is going to be a brand new boss and it's going to be a important character. So, oh God, it'd be so sick if it was like Sephiroth, like how amazing would it be if we got to fight Sephiroth as a boss? Uh, God, or maybe a foreteller or something. Whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. It's probably going to be crazy hard. So I'm really excited. This is the type of stuff that I love to see. All right, we are going to go back to my Ava setup. Oh, I picked the wrong friend metal. <clears throat> All right, I got to back out real quick because that's not going to do anything. Copying a copy metal. Yeah, we're going to do my Ava setup. God, I wish I pulled an Ava. Ava is amazing. Just the defense boost that she gives you are incredible. And this is a single target, so she does max multiplier. Oh, not single target this time around, but once I kill them, it will be. And I'll try killing them right off the bat. Is that just five hits? Oh, God. That's not good. I might need to adjust my setup a little bit because that's probably going to kill me. Yep. Okay. Alright, yeah, I think I might get away with it, but... Yeah, that's what stinks. A lot of my uh, strength buffers do a lot of hits. Uh, pretty much I just had Pride Land Sora. I didn't check Beast and Beast and Bell might not do that many hits, so they might be a better buffer to do in certain certain situations. I, uh, I haven't really messed with them. I didn't get them in global, so I'm not super familiar, but I know it's, it's a wipe, and then it does strength up times four. So if it's a low amount of hits, that might be my new go-to strength buffer. Do that in a nominee. Um, 
to copy it or any. I have a lot of copy metals at this point in time. But preferably a zero cost copy metal. Alright. So back to my sleeping lion setup. With Sephiroth. I happen to get really lucky and get a really good party in JP. That has we, we have every single EX. I think I'm actually the only one who has a Gula, so between all of us we're we're sharing one of the new EX medals. Alright, so I'm gonna get paralyzed here. Alright, pray for the best. Alright, as long as it doesn't switch my Gula, I'm good. Please don't Alright, cool. This will kill the paralysis guy. And everything, actually, so. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got lucky and pulled some of the new EXs. The pull rates were really good, so I feel really bad for you if you didn't manage to get any of them. Um, but I feel like most people were able, like, if you if you invested at least 10 pulls, like, most people were able to get one. Um, I saw very few pull videos where people did more than, like, 10 pulls and didn't get anything. So that's... Um, just really unfortunate, so I feel really bad for that, for people who had that happen to him. I got very fortunate. Okay. I got the orb wizard. Let's see how this goes. Oh, man. Sorry about that. All right. 25 hit counter. That's not too bad. I should be able to make it through a whole turn. And then by the second turn, I'll have enough defense that I should survive the retaliation attack. Alright, so I'm going to get a retaliation here. I'm probably going to die, honestly. I, I don't have enough HP. But I have a lot of buffs, so I may live. Oh yeah, dang. Oh god. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, God. All right, whatever. We got her. Um, <laughs> that was rough. Oh, no, God. Oh. I hate... I wasn't expecting Paralyzed to do that, and it made me do a swipe instead of using the metal. So, that was unfortunate. I should still be able to kill it, hopefully. Yeah, yep, I got the kill. That was pretty tough. That's, I mean... A lot of these key art 12 is is saving my ass so just get a key art 12 and copy it and then have some good damage dealers and you're you're pretty much set for these so far if not key art 12 any other good defense booster if you have Ava you're in an even even better spot than I am because Ava's a really good defensive buffer <clears throat> All right, we're at quest 10 here. And so just so the videos aren't too long, I think I might do uh, 1 through 10 and then do another video for 10 through 15. Um, so let's go ahead and do this one. Or 11 through 15, I should say. All right, so we're going to switch back to my Ava setup. All right, things are getting real now. All right, 50 and 25 hits. This is, we're good. Yeah, 
and I'm going to be able to kill that guy before he hurts me. That's good. Alright. Alright, no status effects or anything, so we're in good shape. And that's it. Finished it with a key art 11. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end this one here and then uh, we're going to pick back up and run 11 through 15. And uh, so that'll be up very shortly after this. I got my thousand jewels and now we're time time for the real challenge here. So uh, thank you guys so much. We'll have a new video soon. Definitely subscribe, uh, put a like. I'm going to have lots of new content coming up. So Thank you guys so much. Have a good one.